my hands say hello. Every time I see my friends, my hands say hello. My eyes say hello. My eyes say hello. Every time I see my friends, my eyes say hello. Good job. And how about our tongue? My tongue says hello. <laughs> my tongue says hello. <laughs> Every time I see my friends, my tongue says hello. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, we're ready for our first story. My friend Earth. I like this story a lot. It's got such pretty colors, just like the Earth. There's our friend sitting in the leaves. My friend Earth wakes up from a winter nap. See a little bird peeking. It's peeking through a hole in the page. Wow. She hears the busy spring sounds, the farmer's hoe tap tapping in the ground, the caw of crows. Can we try it? What does a crow sound like? She sees the little, the silent seed, the spider spinning silver, the robins and the wrens. You see the spider webs and the birds? And the large, the long winged albatross. Can I see your big wings? Crossing the sea, the mole tunneling in the underdark. She guides the chimpanzee to her night rest. Do you see the mole in the dark there? And a mama and baby chimpanzee. And the zebra baby to find his mother in the hundreds of black and white striped mothers. She tends the prairie where sun-dappled wild horses run through grasses that swish against their legs. Look at all those horses run. They're so fast. The tundra where the reindeer graze for moss and the glistening ice where the young polar bear pads on mittened feet. They've poked a hole through the ice. What are they gonna see? Oh, she guards all the creatures in all the oceans. The black manta rays sleep like shadows. The shining parrotfish, the tiny krill who swim with millions of other krill to look big. And the whales who are big. You see a couple different kinds of whales and the manta rays. My friend Earth pours the summer rain to fill streams flowing down the mountains, through the fields, to the rivers, to the sea. We have rivers here, don't we? We have fields? Yes. Sometimes she pours too much rain, flooding towns and meadows and roads until she dries the land. Sometimes she blows fierce autumn winds. Can we blow our wind ready? <gasps> Sweeping the limbs of trees and shingles from the roofs of barns. Until she stills the wind so red and orange and yellow leaves float to the ground. When cold comes again, <laughs> my friend Earth sprinkles the snow, whisper silent, covering the dens where the baby black bears are born in darkness. Drifting over the icy pond, where the turtle sleeps, there he is, in mud, settling into the empty nests 
of birds. There's an empty nest. And what kind of animal are these? <gasps> They're big fluffy tails. Squirrels are sleeping too. It must be winter time. Under the white, the silent seed is cradled in the dark soil, watching, waiting to fly up again in the warm, bright sun of spring. She woke up again to do it all over again. What fun. Oh, I'm so glad I got to share that story with you. Be sure to pop in the library and get it yourself because it's a beautiful book and it talks all about our beautiful earth that we take care of. So I loved that book, but I also love our planet earth and I hope you do too because I've got a little song for us to sing. Ready first, we're going to clap our hands. If you love planet earth, clap your hands. If you love planet earth, clap your hands. If you love planet Earth, celebrate Earth Day with me. If you love planet Earth, clap your hands. If you love all the trees, pat your head. <laughs> if you love all the trees, pat your head. Good job. If you love all our trees, celebrate Earth Day with me. If you love all our trees, pat your head. Good job. If you love clean, fresh air, wave your arms. Good job, like they're in the wind. If you love clean, fresh air, wave your arms. If you love clean, fresh air, celebrate Earth Day with me. If you love clean, fresh air, wave your arms. Good job, friends. All right, we're ready for our next story. Thank you, Earth. We should say thank you, Earth. It gives us all sorts of amazing things. Let's see. Dear Earth, if we get closer, I see a spider web and a bird. Thank you for the water and those that float. <laughs> Little sea otter floating for slippery seaweed and stone. Thank you for mountains and minerals that strengthen bills. That's a, a bill. A bird's beak is its bill. And bone. I see some elk and their big antlers. Thank you for air, <sighs> even fishy whale breath. I want to see a big spout. Thank you for colors and coastlines and beach. See some seals. What does a seal say? Do you know? Orp, orp, orp. <laughs> Thank you for tiny and towering. So tall. What is tiny? A ladybug. And what is towering so tall above us? Our trees. Great job. For trees and vines that reach. I see a friend. <laughs> It's a sloth. You can see his little sloth tummy. This is how he's just hanging, hanging out. Thank you for curves and oh, ouch, crackles and parallels for patterns. Baby turtles, sea turtles, all shapes that repeat. Beautiful flower. Do we know what kind of flower that is? It's a sunflower. It has its seeds in the middle and it opens up its petals and follows the sun. <gasps> Thank you for leaves and stems and buds for plant parts we can eat. Yummy. <gasps> Carrots 
and maybe eggplants. Hmm. Thank you for sounds. Is that a bird chirping? And storms and seasons for struggles. I see a little squirrel. Squirrels work hard to eat. And pale in betweens. Thank you for rays and radials and overlapping greens. I see one little friend getting a snack here on this flower. Do we know what that is? A bee. Thank you for jumbles, ingredients for soil, and bright new growth in spring. Springtime, they're beautiful. What color are these flowers? pink or purple and this beautiful flower what color is it it's a white flower thank you for those that crawl yes all 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 even those that sting look at all of our creepy crawlies they're doing good work spreading our flowers yeah even the teeny tiny ants Thank you for sunsets. For sky, room enough for birds. For edges, eyes can roam. Thank you for beginnings, for endings, and for lifetimes. Oh, I see all sorts of bunnies. See a duck. What's that with its ears? Bunny. Thank you for being our home. It's where we all live. Our creepy crawly bugs, our bunnies, and us. The end. But come check out this book too. It's got all sorts of interesting information about our earth and telling it thank you. Find a way this Earth Day to say thank you. Stop by the library, get your hat to let everyone know that you're celebrating. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>